Hey guys, it's Shah here, the Tech Pork, and I know it's been a long time since I've made a video. Um, it's been about, I think, seven, eight months now, maybe more than that. And well, the reason I guess I can say is because I've started my degree in computer science, and yeah, it's going good, guys. If you have any questions about the degree, what what do you do in a CS degree? Please do ask me in the comments. I'll let you guys know. Any queries, modules we do, please do ask. Anyway, so. Today we're just going to be looking at a nice little algorithm and as I always say Python is my favourite language. So we're going to be making an algorithm for bubble sort. Now for those of you that don't know what bubble sort is, it's essentially just switching. So it's basically a sorting algorithm that will allow us to sort a list essentially. So let me just show you an example. So we've got this list, 3, 2, 1, and say we want to sort it. Now what bubble sort does is it will swap the elements that are smaller than the other. Now. 3 is smaller than 2 so it's going to swap 3 and 2 so in our first run it's going to end up doing so it's going to end up doing 2 3 1 and then it's going to so this is our initial run so it's going to send 3 in front of 2 because 3 is bigger than 2 then 3 is bigger than 1 so it's going to send it right to the front so, two, one, three. so this is how our first run will look like right and then our second run will well now 2 is bigger than 1 so it's going to swap 2 and 1 right so it's going to end up becoming this now 2 isn't bigger than 3 so it's no longer going to switch it and this will just map onto just again to itself because it's already ordered so we should get to 1 2 3 now bubble sort isn't a great algorithm it's something you learn at probably a level and degree level computer science it's um it has a it, it's what we call has a time complexity of n squared so what this means is say n is the size of your list the the increase of the time taken to run a bubble sort algorithm on a list of size n increases uh, at the rate of n squared so it's not very good if you want to design a very efficient algorithm but for our purpose I just want to show you guys bubble sort so here's the code for bubble sort anyway so let's move on so so we have to do a simple for loop at the start so for x in range we're gonna have 0 and we're gonna have len then we're gonna do the length of our list okay and then we're gonna do if a x like i said so if our current value is greater than our next value x plus one we just want it to literally just um swap them now we can't just swap in python we have to actually create a temporary variable so i'm just going to call it zero now i'm going to let my temporary variable equal to ax plus one or, or just ax so basically my temporary variable now carries ax so yeah, so I can change the value of ax as I want it to be. So ax will now become ax plus one, as in ax is now what it was. Ax is now what the next value would be. So, for example, ax is two, then ax plus one would be three. And now what we've done is we've set this first element to be just three, and now we have to set the second element to be our temporary variable, which stored our original variable. Which sounds pretty confusing. You might just want to pause and re-check re that bit about what I said in case you guys are confused. And then equal to temp. Now, so we've managed to uh, fiddle it about. And yeah. Okay. Now, else. Continue. That's the only check we want to do. Otherwise, it's just going to run it. So if I save this and run this, now it's probably going to give us an error. But I want to go over it together. Which is why, you know. So... As soon as this responds, sorry guys. Okay, there we go. So it's gonna give an error list index out of range y of the length of a when it this when x takes the value of the length of a um, there won't be a x plus one th term in the list, will there now? So you're gonna have to put a minus one here. So now if I run this, um, there we sh oh put print a sorry. <laughs> so print a. If I run this, it should give us a nice little 213, there you go. Now, have you realized how we only got our first iteration? Yes, what does that mean? Now, what that means is we haven't been through all the iterations yet, so what I'm going to really have to do now is just tab everything here, right? So just tab it, and I'm going to put another for loop on top for y in range 0 and length of now you may ask why we're doing this is because we have n items so you'd have to perform it n times uh, so the first so the first one would be n so I would assume the length is n so we're performing this first loop n times and the second loop would happen n times as well or yeah n times yeah um, so well it's n minus 1 but it's fine it doesn't matter uh, it doesn't affect the fact that it's still n squared so 
so now if I run this it should print it out ordered and as you can see it's printing it out ordered so this will work for any any size list so even if I do 0 or minus 1 I mean Python is a great um, language to use anyway so as you can see it ordered the list successfully so that's really it guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, again it's been a long time since I made a video so again do check back every week or so I will be uploading new videos linked to just degree level computer science if you want to know so comment that and just just in general so thank you for watching guys like comment subscribe